here today on the banks of the River Gala near Stow. This was the site of a really important battle in history. Stow here was one of the holiest places in the whole of Scotland and Britain in the early ages. The battle that was fought here between King Arthur and the Picts was known as the Holy Battle. Believe it or not, there are still some relics here in the area which prove how holy a place this was. It was a shrine and King Arthur came here to pay his respects to the place. Let's go and see if we can find anything. Because of Arthur's legacy, the holy standing of Stow grew even more. Arthur left a few relics here, part of a shield which he carried in the battle, and part of a replica cross from Jerusalem apparently. Uh, this attracted pilgrims, pilgrims and holy men of standing to Stow, and apparently here, which is known as the Bishop's Church in the middle of Stow, lived St Andrew. We're here today in the small village of Stow, just outside Gala Shields. Now most people, when they think of this old church in Stow, they think of this as the first church in Stow, the original church. And it is a really old church. I mean, I would love to know who's buried in this tomb, for example, but there doesn't seem to be any inscription on it. But this is the second church in Stow. There is a far older and I have to say, far more important site just south on the way down to Gala Shields. Let's go and have a look. This is the holy well here. All that really remains, I think, of the holy complex. You can just imagine Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table here, praising the Lord after their victory at the battle here against the Picts. Uh, I don't know if anybody still uses the well, I wouldn't think so, but it is still a site of pilgrimage for hundreds of religious people over the country. You can just imagine the problems faced by Arthur and his knights at the round table in this type of terrain. But after the battle here in Stow, 
the legend of Arthur goes even further in the borders. Apparently, and sources from history do dictate this, Arthur actually lived in the borders. The whole legend, the whole stories, the Merlin, the Excalibur, Camelot, it all happened here in the Scottish borders. Let's go and see what we can find out. Very little is written about Arthur. In fact, hardly any hard evidence survives. One piece of evidence which most scholars work from is an account written by a monk who wrote of Arthur's 10 most famous battles shortly after Arthur's death. And one of these battles appears to have been on this site where I am today, here in the Yarrow Valley. This standing stone was uncovered in 1803 and definitely dates from the 5th or 6th century, which was the time when Arthur was fighting in the Scottish borders. This would have been a battle here fought against the Anglo-Saxons to keep Britain British. And this, this stone, marks the site of the battle. So was King Arthur here as well as at Stow fighting a pitched battle against the Anglo-Saxons? It would appear so. We're here in the countryside near Peebles today, searching for the grave of a wizard. Of course, King Arthur and the legend of King Arthur would not be the legend of King Arthur if it wasn't for Arthur's biggest friend, confidant and advisor during these times. And who was that? It was the wizard Merlin. And it's pretty much generally accepted that this here is Merlin's grave in Drum Elziar near Peebles. There's even a plaque there to commemorate that. In the 6th century AD, the possible burn from Drumelsia ran down this way and into the tweed just in this area here. Legend has it there's a strange standing stone in this area somewhere which marks the real true location of Merlin's grave. No remains of that standing stone here today but this is definitely where the, the burn used to meet the tweed so this is definitely where the real wizard is buried somewhere. So was King Arthur real? I think that's a pretty much accepted fact. Perhaps he wasn't a king. The general consensus is he was some sort of military leader, a general, something like that. But the question is, did he, did he survive in the Scottish borders? The evidence is there. The sites are there. Please, please go out on the Arthur Trail yourself and have a look. And also, have a read of this book, Arthur, by Alistair Moffat. Absolute fans, fascinating read. Very little 
is written about Arthur. Very little is known a certified fact about what he did in his life. But one monk in the 13th century. Fuck. I, 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 